So hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. But well, yes, we are going to do Nola now and it's his little secret. And yeah, let's continue. Evening. After finishing work, I decided I want coffee and stop by La Quark Squad Cafe. Hello Josh, any chance I could get a cup of coffee? Welcome home, no problem. I'll help that out for you in a moment. Thanks. In the middle of drinking my coffee when Nolan and Cody arrive home. Welcome back Nolan. You're home early today. Yeah, the lawsuit I'm working. Uh, yeah, the lawsuit I'm working on uh, wrapped up early than I expected. I decided to leave Ali and review the material for my next case here at home where I can relax. Relax? That doesn't sound relaxing. Olivia, aren't you going to welcome me home too? You're horrible. I didn't forget you, Cody. Welcome home. Sorry about that. That's okay. I've got plenty good ideas what a special guy in our life is to you. <laughs> Dance straight. That goes goes without saying, Josh. I'll have what Olivia's having. Yeah, me too. Coming right up. You're only you're one lucky guy in Nolan. How so? Having a girlfriend like Olivia? That's fine. Just remember you can't have her. At least <laughs> let me borrow her when I need to study my lines. I'm happy to give you a hand with that, Cody. Excellent. Forget it. <laughs> hey, but Libby just said she was happy to do it. That's not the issue. She's not a lib library book you can borrow whenever you want. That's nice of you, Nolan. While the three of us are sitting around enjoying our coffee, a delivery man shows up. Excuse me, I have a, a delivery from Mr. Nolan Chaisla. May I ask who it's from? For? It's for Mr. Nolan Zarak. Zarek. It's for me, for Mr. C. The one stands up to sign for it, for, for it, then accepts the large package from the man and sets it on the table. That's a big package. I wonder what it is. What's in it? It's pretty heavy too. Oh, really? Any idea? <laughs> Any idea what it could be? <laughs> Not a clue. Let's open it and find out. The one opens the box to relieve an a, 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 Catch case inside. Hmm. It has some kind of password lock on it. The arch case looks brand new and has a LCD label uh, a display <laughs> for inputting a password in order to open it. This unusual site procures the procures the group's curiosity. Uh, it's it's like some something a spy would use. Screw up the password and it. It's go boom. It will go boom. Enough with the jokes. I doubt it's anything that impre impresses you. Hmm? It probably contains important documents or con contracts. Whatever it is, it's valuable enough to require a password. Sure, but what would be fi the, fa the fun in that? Maybe it's some trick designed to surprise you. A trick, huh? I suppose that's that's possible. It's from Mr. C after all. I won't put it past him to pull a prank on me. <laughs> Only we wouldn't know unless we get the case opened. Josh, have you heard anything from Mr. C about the password? No one interrupts Josh, who is washing dishes, to ask him. That's right, if anyone might know about the case, it would be Josh. However, Josh simply shakes his head. No, no not a word. Forgive me for not being of more assistance. He regretfully replies just then the video phone in the cafe begins to ring. Black court residence. Oh hello Nolan. Now I mean now key. I mean god damn it's the name. <laughs> Nathaniel. Nolan of course. Josh waves Nolan over and hands him the phone. This is Nolan, the arch case. It arrived, however, I don't have the password for it. What is that? It's a number I'm familiar with. Huh, Mr. C. Wait, don't hang up. 
the room falls silent as the man sets the phone back down. So did we find out what's inside the arch case? Yeah, it's some it's some important uh, document Mr. C says we want. He wants me to look all over. <laughs> yes, it's some important document Mr. C says he wants me to look over. However, he doesn't. He didn't give me the password. He just says I was familiar with the number. It was all rather cryptic. Nolan sounds this this just said. I just said don't know what. Just just said. Cody on the other hand starts to grow excited. He's got you this time, Nolan. The question is how long will it take our brilliant lawyer to solve this mystery? I'll have to open it. In, I'll have it open in no time. What? <laughs> What I really like to know though is how long it will take you, Cody. Oh, he didn't say that. <laughs> the man returns. <laughs> the man returns, Cody attempts to tease him with a challenge of his own. Not to be outdone, Cody confidently replies. I could do it in 30 minutes. 30 minutes, huh? Good luck. <laughs> what? No land. <laughs> Let me say stop teasing him. Cause I should yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop teasing him. I let out a sneaker and Nolan broadly grins back. As long as Mr. C has provided us the game, it seems like a waste for me to solve it all on my own. <laughs> but wouldn't it be more entertaining to see which of us can solve it first? Oh sure Nolan, you say that now, but what happens when I've opened it and the game's over? That's fine with me. I'll, it'll save me the trouble of opening to myself. Typical of Nolan. He's always covering all his all his bases. That's one thing I really admire about him. Nolan hands the case to Cody, who immediately begins entering various numbers that come to mind. Meanwhile, Nolan makes sure to check the time on his wristwatch. You've got 15 minutes left. <laughs> Relax, I've got plenty of ideas left. Dang! That doesn't work either. Feel free to give up any time. I won't think of any, I won't think any worse of you for it. You'll just be admitting defeat to Mr. C's challenge. Nothing more. <laughs> Not a chance. Then you'll immediately open it up and make me look like an idiot. Losing to losing to Mr. C is bad enough. There's no way I'm letting you beat me. Sometimes admitting defeat is the <laughs> it's the honorable thing to do. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> Cody continues punching in numbers, but the arched case remains firmly locked. Three, two, one, time's up. Ugh, that's got to be, you've got to be joking. In the end, Cody fails to open the case to, within the 30 minutes he claimed he will take, it will take him. However, two new challengers immediately show up to take his place. Joy and Carlo have returned from work. You're trying to guess the password? That sounds like fun. Let me try. <laughs> Figures Mr. C would come up with some way to keep us entertained. Let me have a go at it too. Joy takes a seat in front of the case and prepares to start entering numbers. Mr. C to uh, told you it was a number you fa you're familiar with. Right, Nolan? That's easy. Uh, Carlo nods in agreement. Let's see, I suppose the obvious one that comes to mind is your birthday. What's, what is it? When is it? September 18th. 0908. Nope, looks like it's not going to be that easy. What's your favorite number? One. Uh, Joy enters in 0001, only to have it rejected. Joy, give it here. It's my turn. Come on, Carlo. Give me a couple. Give me a couple more tries. I'm, it might be close. I might be close to solving it. All right, you two. Take take turns. Josh immediately just decides to step in when he sees Joy and Carlo fighting over their case. Following that, the two of them continue asking Nolan questions, but his answers all fail to work. The first person to grow tired of this is Nolan. This is killing me. How long do you expect me to keep answering these silly questions? 
until you guess guess the password. Obviously, otherwise, how are you going? How are you going to do the, your job? It may be a game, but you don't forget. You're supposed to read over the documents inside, right? Sure, but in that case, I'll just open it myself. Oh, but <laughs> I'll choose this because I haven't chosen it before. Just to let you know, yeah, I have, I have read this. So yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you can do it alone? What's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me you think I can't come up with the number. No, I don't think that at all. But what are you going to do if do if by hey do if by if by hey if by some chance it's a number you're not aware of? Mr. C sent the arched case to me. The password has to be some number I I will know. Tell me the truth. Are you worried about me or <laughs> are you just grumbling because you'll be left <laughs> all alone when I shut myself in my room? I <laughs> Nolan hits the nail on the head, leaving me at a loss of words. When he sees this, he grins. <laughs> I'm taking this to my room to solve the password. Come on, Livia, let's go. Ah, uh, okay. Following Nolan's announcement, the two of us head off. When we return to Nolan's room, he sits. He sets the arch case on the table. Nolan, you keep saying you can easily answer the uh, you can easily open the case. Do you have some idea what the number is? That's what I'm about to find out. He grabs the, pe the a piece of paper and a pen and begins writing down numbers. Uh, numbers are as, as they come to mind. He looks unusually serious. I'll bet he's worried what the answer will, will, what the others will think if he fails to solve it as fast as he said he would. I guess there's no point in trying to talk to him right now. I may have, I may have returned with Nolan, but it seems I'm on my own. As long as it sounds, as lonely as it sounds, maybe I should head back to my room for now. When I start to stand up, Nolan reaches out and grabs my arm, hand. Wait, where are you going? Does it matter? You look like you're busy. I thought I'd return to my room. I'd hate to disturb you while you're working on that password. You're not disturbing me. Besides, you can't leave. He grins while issuing his di di directive. You you have to come up with some ideas too. And guys, I am going to end the episode there. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you in the next video. Toodles! <laughs>